Only on 10 News, after this dog came down with some bizarre symptoms, his owner rushed him to the vet and got a stunning diagnosis, poisoning. Mm, as 10 News reporter Michael Chin found out, neighbors in Imperial Beach say the nearly fatal incident is a symptom of a very growing problem. Rivers, hey. Rivers, a golden retriever Megs isn't quite himself. He won't really respond anymore. But owner Janelle Wooster You're okay. You're okay. Look. is just happy her one-year-old yeah. dog is alive two days ago. We were freaking out. A very different emotion. Oh, I was in tears. When Wooster came back to her home in Imperial Beach and found Rivers like this. Shaking his head back and forth uncontrollably, pacing back and forth. A family friend said he'd been like this for hours after playing in the fence backyard. I was afraid that I was going to lose him. Wooster rushed into the vet, and after blood tests, the vet told her this. It was symptoms similar to those of a dog who had gotten into some meth. Turns out Rivers would have died if he had not gotten treatment when he did. As for the meth. But I'm just angry. Wooster believes she knows where it came from. Neighbor Jared Jones says the homeless routinely use the alley behind the yard. And they're getting chased by the police. As a dumping ground. And they're tossing drugs and alcohol and uh, paraphernalia. Toss, sometimes right over fences. I walked around about 45 seconds and quickly found these two alcohol bottles. Wooster believes this time it was meth. He could have died. My little dog could have died. My three-year-old nephew who lives in the house with me could have died. Days later. So he's kind of... It's not hey. clear if Rivers will fully recover. From the meal that nearly killed him. Michael Chen, 10 News. Wow, Michael says so far Rivers vet bills total about $1,200. A GoFundMe campaign has been set up to help with those vet bills. There's a link right now on 10news.com. Just click on the red television button to help.